um, when I say us, that means students of you know, um, higher education and students of universities, um, it is our perhaps utmost responsibility to understand uh, how whatever I do has consequences for whatever happens to my society, my family, I should say it in this one, my family, my society, my university, my province, my country, and the rest of the world. When it comes to uh, talking about the kind of people who we have um, ruling some parts of this world, um, you know, there are different names that we give them. Um, sometime back, uh, people who rule Afghanistan now, they were called Mujahideen. And uh, then they became Muhajirin. And then after some time, they became Taliban. And when they became Taliban, they were given extremists. Who was one of the names. Terrorist was another name, etc., etc. Remember, when we name somebody, an individual or a group, then that means two things. One, whoever gives the names has the power to impose an identity on that individual or on group of individuals or society or country. So where does the term come from? That is who is responsible for whatever is happening in our society or in Afghanistan or you know, part of the Kumpar or part of the Kumpar. So I need to know who gives me the name. One, two, if I am some sort of, a, some sort of an educated person, then I will protest and say, hey, look, the name that you give me does not do justice to who I am, what I stand for, and I don't want you to call me that. But then what happens is, in every society, there are um, stakeholders, there are people who have interests. Um, so if I have interests going right, um, not in the political sense of the word right or left, but you know, just the physical direction. Um, so if, if my interests go right, then I'm okay with the name that people give me. Or if my interests go left, then I'm not okay with the name that people give me. Um, day before yesterday, I saw something um, which I'm sure, it's just a political science, you know, should have noticed, and I'm sure I have noticed, that somebody sent um, a group of people from the Kampala to talk to you. Um, and previously, perhaps, they were not Runa or something like that. So that is one thing that we need to keep in mind. If you, if you want to understand who is messing us up, I need to know who is giving me the names. So, for example, if you look at the textbooks, that we teach in universities or schools, um, people from this part of Pakistan are given a certain name. Um, and, um, and as I continue to study, I also found out to make men jangju to ham jangju or ayure. To me, as you know, in the beginning, I also believed I am ayure and jangju to sopra, about the club all the matter. That is how most times we are. And uh, so, as I grew up, I began to question how I was viewed. Um, because if I, for example, beat up my sister because she's a woman, or if I beat up my siblings, younger brother, brothers, younger brothers, because they are smaller than I am, then am I you actually? Um, or if I am a married person and I beat up my wife, no matter what the cause, am I a you? So I began to question that name that was given to me, and luckily in the past of time I then realized that perhaps whoever gave me the name wanted to mess up with me. Um, so whoever is responsible for whatever happens is actually, in my opinion, the person who defines me. The person who reshapes me, redefines me, in order to adjust me and mine into the political landscape which is driven by their interests. Um, so that is how I see it. 
And then when it comes to you know, our society or Afghanistan, perhaps for the past, I don't know, actually, you know, the number of years, but roughly speaking, for the past four decades, we have seen a lot of violence. But what is violence? Um, while I see it there, do I see it here, deep down in my heart, where if I see somebody who is dressed up slightly differently, and I look at him like that, I am actually committing violence. I'm judging that person, because violence starts with judging people. They're bad. So we demonize them, we otherize them, and then we criminalize them, and then we begin to wage some sort of a war against them because they're bad, 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 bad. And that is perhaps how, in human history, one, um, you know, one kind of people have justified their battles, their wars against other kind of people. They are wrong, they are bad, they are wrong, they are bad, we are good, we are right, we are good, we are right. So the right and good have the right to attack the good, the bad, and the wrong. But then who decides, as I said before, who decides the rightness of people? Who decides the wrongness of people? As I said before, there is somebody who gives me those names. And I need to understand who actually gives me those names. So for me, when I, you know, judge people, um, wherever they are, they are in Afghanistan, or Bhutan, or Nepal, or Bangladesh, or India, or uh, Sri Lanka, because these may be our countries, South Asian um, countries. Um, before I look at uh, Palestine and, you know, Chechnya, I need to look at my immediate neighborhood and see if there is violence going on there. So before I see violence taking place in these countries, I need to look deep inside my heart and see if there is violence taking place in my country, in my society, in my house. So in addition to the person who gives me names, I am also responsible for whatever happens in Afghanistan or Pakistan or Pakistan or any other country. Because if it happens in one country, then I'm okay with it. Or if it happens in one part of Pakistan, I'm okay with it. But if it happens in another part of Pakistan, then I'm not okay with it. Now that selective judgment is where the violence starts. So when, when we ask this question, who actually is responsible? Well, it's very easy to say to because peace starts not with somebody coming from out there and say, Mother, that peace not on the Peace starts in my heart. Peace starts in my house. Peace starts in my family. Peace starts in my neighborhood, in my university. Am I at peace with myself? Do I usually ask people, that are generally Similarly, if, if, if for example, we rethink some of our belief system, you are know, this way, Sahih this material is a What level of ilm of the Muslim or Muslim? So if I have trouble with my sister going to school or university or college, I'm responsible for the violence that takes place. Or if Taliban, for example, stop girls from going to schools and universities, and I'm okay with it, I'm responsible. Usually people say that growth, development, progress is measured 
by the inventions that society makes, the technological advancement that society has. I, well, maybe that is correct, but I tend to move in a slightly different direction. I personally think that a society which has a high level of consciousness is more progressive, more developed, and will be more peaceful. We are in the process of learning after progress and development, and at the same time being violent. But violence, I do not mean to have your best for Belfast and Amatea, but I'm a Belfast For if I judge somebody, a girl or a boy or a woman or a man, deep down in my heart, religion, that's a thing. The seed of violence is sown in my heart. It's only a matter of time that I will attack somebody physically. Why? Because I continue to see it, I continue to judge it, I begin to, you know, define that person or those people, and I say they are wrong, they are wrong, they are wrong. Wrong, next grade is bad. The higher grade of bad is, if you look at it from uh, civil law, it's, it's criminal, and if you look at it from a religious perspective, it's a sinner. That source is responsible for whatever happens in our society. Because if you can't stop them, that's the reason he's there. If you can't stop them, if you can't stop them, do I consider them bad in my heart? Those perhaps who should be declared bad have become good, and those who should be good have become bad. Now, who is good? It's very easy. When I'm a child, whenever they leave, when I'm home, uh, if my son leaves, Baba leaves, and say, okay, be good. And then my daughter leaves, like, Baba, okay, be good. And one day my son asks me, Baba, you always say to me, be good. What is good? I said, Rasha came up. And that's a question that I, I want all of you to ask yourself. Then the kid asked so much that she had a car for a while. Told her car for a For her sister. What is right? What is good? And most of the times, we find ourselves clueless. I look at it this way. What I choose for myself is what I should choose for my neighbor. What I choose for my parents is what I choose for the parents of others. What I choose for my kids is what I should choose for the kids of others. And I was very good when they look at me for Qatar so No, 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 no. No. Right? We need to be very clear about it. Anything, no matter how apparently beneficial it is, anything that hurts another human, it's bad. It is bad. Because as Allah says, thou shalt not judge. Judge so, and that brings me to something that you know you guys were talking about, human rights. Whenever I hear the expression human rights, I also claim to learn human rights. Why? Um, since most of you are political science students, there are different there are conventions that different states, different governments sign. One of them is human rights charter. And then there's another one called CEDAW, C-E-D-A-W, Convention of Elimination of All Kinds of Discrimination Against Women. And the countries which have not signed all the articles, for me, they are very, very important. The United States of America has not signed all the articles of human rights. Maybe it comes as a means to you. Canada has not signed all the articles of Human Rights Convention. Australia has not signed all the articles of Human Rights Convention. Do you know why? 
Because Americans then have to perhaps, you know, revisit what they did with the Native Americans in the United States of America. Canadians have to do the same. Australians have to then worry about Aborigines. And the, native, the population of Native Americans is on the constant decline. The population of, again, Native Canadians is on the constant decline. The population of Aborigines in Australia is on the constant decline. We need to look at how we also do the same thing. As I said before, depending on which way my interests go, then I start with a different outcome at the time. Now, human rights, even in Mazarbe, we try to suit everything to our convenience. Pakistan <laughs> Yes, the Macholeke Malandu, the Kiri Sarem, or to school time in the state where Halishna Mamma the Jinape Kiri, or they extreme coma, they are responsible. The Arab violence which has messed up our society and which is messing up our Halishna. But for the power to look for the Middle East Council, that turned him away to the husband, husband of wife, woman. Mundari Stoka Dunaku Karomi Rabadi Grandi Kasareda Rabadi Grandi Kahoro Lumeda is at the Komaka Hazara, the bunch of four little maids at the Komaka. So, human rights? Well, let's look deep inside. They are wrong. We are wrong too. Whenever we talk about such issues, we usually look at the ideal state. To our Pakaras, the Esa Honachai. The bigger the gap between Sapakari or Samungako, the bigger the mess. And that is why perhaps some of us, most of us, or I don't know what percentage of us, deep down in our heart are okay. If somebody, the Taliban came up with an case of Kaspik and Mosheke, if they stop girls from going to schools or colleges or universities, Chad and Rahasana, so Kanazar Gandhi, making things difficult for her. So we want to talk about human rights. We should start with that. Because am I as a teacher, am I as a student, am I as a pedestrian standing somewhere Dukan Bahar in Dukan Am I making things difficult for a jine to school the zeal? Chamani Ari Chikabal Khabalari. Human rights coverable. Let's talk with God. Our mother talk here to conventional sanctuary. Sidawa, Dreamul Kunabi. And the funny thing is, all three of, I don't know if I should, yeah, I should name them. Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, Iran. Google Why? Because Convention on Elimination of All Kind of Discrimination or All Forms of Discrimination Against Women. That selective agreement, that selective Signing of some of these conventions is where violence starts. Munda Banyadamar Nahkari, Munda Yasarikari Yahazaka, O Saro Hazuki Biyab Banyadamar Mata Nahkari, Munda Sunda Dishir Kiwalakari, Sunda Elephant Kiwalakari, Sunda Elephant Kiwalakari. So we want to talk about human rights, and we want to talk about violence, and we want to know who actually is responsible. I'm responsible. You are responsible. We are responsible for this. Uh, I've spoken too long because the issue of violence 
is very, very dear to my heart. I usually say to the last believe yet which has shown in the way. Jesus Bechbel Zwekwa Yadu Ya Hazar Husband Murafi. If you think that is good, join me. If you think that is not good, think about why some people do not beat up their kids, do not beat up their wives, a wife. I still love you. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. So, what are the implications of violence for me as a person, as a father, as a brother, as, as a neighbor, as a teacher? We need to think about this. Thank you very much. Keep smiling. Life is very beautiful. And its beauty depends on the choices that we make. God bless you. Good morning.